we can also change the speeds hi guys and welcome to next video from mini bike store in today's video i'm gonna explain to you full wiring of the mini electric quad or mini electric dirt bike with the brush to 800 or 1000 watt motor it will be for both 36 volt and 48 volt in the video i will show you how to connect every single equipment so the brake levers the foot switch the twist throttle all the switches batteries and also i will connect all of them into three different controllers so one will be this controller then we will have this type of controller and i will connect all into this type of controller i will also connect everything into this type of twist throttle with the keyboard in and the battery gouge and this type of controller just with the battery gouge and the ignition key separate first i will share with you very important information see the controller here this is the old version controller it comes with the white plug like this at this moment they don't make the controllers with the white plugs anymore they only use the black plugs like this for all new controllers so if you are looking for new controller for your bike and your bike is already a few years old you have this white plug on the motor or on the battery pack you need to simply purchase the black plugs from our website and replace the plug on your battery pack or on your motor to fit the new version of the plugs the black plugs you can also think that this controller is different than this controller but they are actually exactly the same even if you can't find the controller which will exactly match your controller make sure it's like if you have 36 800 watt bike quad or atv get the same controller and you can definitely connect the controller to your bike and it will work before you start any work you have to remove the main fuse for safety this is very important first let me show you how to connect properly the batteries you may have one single like 36 or 48 lithium ion battery in your bike but you can also have battery pack like this this is a lead acid battery pack here we have 36 volt three batteries connected together they are each 12 volt so they give in total 36 volt you may have one more battery which will be 48 volt or two more batteries then you will have 60 volts making the battery pack from the lead acid batteries is very simple the first negative cable is going to controller the black one then we have to connect positive with negative again positive negative and then the last positive is going red cable going to controller between the controller and the battery pack there is always fuse on the cable if you want to make 48 volt pack you just simply add one battery first i will show you how to connect this type of controller into mini electric quad or mini electric dirt bike so here it is how we connect the switch for the three speed settings you have to connect two black wires on the one side and red and yellow wire on the other side like that next to plug market as charger on the controller connect the charging socket make sure the red match the red one and the black match the black one now we'll connect the twist throttle this twist throttle is three in one it has a key ignition it also has the battery gouge on it so we have three plugs on it so we need to prepare three plugs on our controller the first one will be with three cables it's throttle we connect the throttle into the plug with three cables on the twist throttle so we have two plugs left one is power switch so you need to find on the controller plug with power switch and connect to the yellow and brown plug on the twist throttle and then find the plug mark indicator and connect it to silver and green plug on the twist throttle like that now i will show you how to connect this twist throttle into the controller when you purchase this twist throttle from our website it will comes with no plugs only with four cables you will have red blue green and yellow you need to make one plug where you install red blue and green and second plug where you install just yellow make sure the second one is a double plug then on the controller find the plug mark as throttle and connect it to the twist throttle like this the red cable from the 
controller must match the red cable from the twist throttle. The black cable from the controller must match the blue cable from the twist throttle. And the silver cable from the controller must match the green cable from twist throttle. So we have now the power in the twist throttle. See the motor is working now. But we have no lights yet. So on the controller you need to find the plug mark as indicator. And we have two cables. One is black and one is blue and red. So you need to connect the yellow cable from the twist throttle with the blue and red cable. Just like this. The black one is empty. So now you can see we have the lights here. Next connect the brake levers. You have the brake sensors in the brake lever so they have to be connected to the controller. So on the controller find the cables marked as brake. You have few of them on the controller. So connect the brake sensor to plug mark as brake on the controller. And the second one exactly the same. Next connect the foot switch into controller. The foot switch is only in electric quads. There is no foot switch in electric dirt bikes. If you purchase one from our website, it will have three cables, white, black and red. You only use black and white cable. Once you make the plug for it, you connect it to the plug on the controller called also brake. Just like this. Next you will need to connect the controller with the electric motor. In electric dirt bikes you don't have that switch. You only have the plugs like that. The black plugs, one will be on the motor side and one will be installed on the yellow or blue. Or if you, there will be no one, you will need to purchase the plug and install it on the controller. And then you just simply connect the motor with the controller. In electric quads it's a little bit different. Here we have the switch for forward, neutral and reverse gear. So here it is how you need to connect it. On one side of the switch you will see there is a single connection outside and double connection inside. So from this side on the middle you have to connect the yellow cable on the top and blue cable on the bottom. On the other side it's a little bit more connections. So as you can see here we have two double ones on outside and one single one inside. So you need to connect the bottom one here with the top one here and the top one here with the bottom one here. Then once you connect that you have to connect from the motor black one on the top and yellow on the bottom. This is how it looks like. Once we have all connected now we can connect the power into the controller. So we have the plug here from the battery and the plug from the controller. If your plug on the battery is white, it will not match this plug, so you need to replace this plug. Make sure when you're connecting, you need to match red with red and black with black. And at the very end, you can insert the fuse inside the fuse box. It will spark. This is normal. Don't worry. Here we have all connected, so we can turn the ignition on. Once the ignition is on, we have to press the foot switch. This is only in electric quads. Foot switch pressed and we can twist the twist throttle. And we can see the motor is working. Now I will show you how to properly connect this controller. Now I have connected all the same equipment into the different controller. This is YK48 controller. So as you can see in your quad or your dirt bike you can use different controllers. So let me show you how to connect everything. So here is the switch for the three speed settings. So on one side we have to connect the silver and the brown cable. And the other side we have to connect the two purple cables. So here it is how you connect controller with the motor. In electric quads between them you have the switch for the forward, reverse and neutral gear. And you need to connect the yellow cable on the top middle connection and the blue cable on the bottom middle connection. If happens that the motor will run opposite way, you need to simply change the cables here. In electric dirt bikes you won't have that switch. You connect the yellow and blue cable directly with the motor. So on the motor we have the red and black cable just using the plugs like this. If happens that the motor will run opposite way you need to swap the cables on one side.
Next you will need to connect the charging port. On the controller you will find the plug marks as charging port and connect it together. Make sure the red match the red and black match the red, black one. Now you need to connect the brake levers, the left brake lever and the right brake lever. On the controller you will need to find the plugs marked as brake. They are black and yellow here. This is a brake and connect it with one brake lever. Then find another brake plug. This is brake and connect with the second brake lever. Just like this. Next you will need to connect the foot switch. This is only in electric quads. It doesn't exist in electric dog bikes. It also has to be connected to brake on the controller. So connect it with the brake plug. If you purchase the brake switch from our website, it will come with three cables, red, white and black. And you only use two, black and white. Next we have the twist throttle together with the battery gauge and the ignition. So we have three plugs for it. The one with three cables is for the throttle. You need to find the plug on the controller mark as throttle and connect it together. Next we have the plug with yellow and brown cables. This one is for the key. So on the controller find the plug mark as power lock and connect it together. And the last one we have for the battery gauge, it's silver and green. And you need to connect it with the plug mark as indicator. So let's test it now. We turn the ignition on the switch for forward, press the foot switch and see the motor is working. We can change the gear to reverse also we can change the speeds of the motor So everything is working. Now I will show you how to connect this kind of controller. It could be 800 watt 36 volt or 1000 watt 48 volt into your electric quad or electric dog bike. First connect the charging socket. Just find the plug which is marked charger on the controller and connect it. Next connect the three speed switch. It comes with cable with three cables. So on the controller you will need to find the plug with three cables. This is the plug with the Chinese marks on it. There is no English name on it. The cables are red, black and yellow and connected together. Next connect the both brake levers. Just find on the controller plug with the name brake and connect it. This one. And second and also to plug brake. Next connect the foot switch. This is only for electric quads. In electric dirt bikes there is no foot switch. So you need to connect it to the brake plug in the controller. So find the brake plug in the controller and connect it. Next connect the motor. So if you have electric dirt bikes you just need to connect the yellow and blue cable together with the motor or if you have the electric mini quad you need to connect the yellow and blue cables into the switch the forward and reverse switch so yellow on the top here on the middle and blue on the bottom here on the middle next we will connect the twist throttle this is the three in one twist throttle with the battery gauge and the key the plug with three cables it's for the twist throttle on the controller you need to find the plug with three cables called derail and connect it together. 
Next we have the plug here with the yellow and brown cable. This is for lock. So you need to find the plug called lock and connect it together. And finally the plug with green and silver cable. This is for the battery gauge. So you need to find plug called battery capacity and connect it together. After you finish connecting everything, you can put the fuse back in and we can test it, make sure everything is working. So turn the ignition on. We have the lights here. Press the foot switch. Here we can change the gear to reverse. We can also change the speeds. So everything is working now. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you find this video useful for you, don't forget to put the thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks and see you next video.